See, I think the hardest part would be to like get like like that, and then when it, like when it kicks its legs up and you strike. Yeah, I mean, I don't... it's not even for us to say like that we could actually chase an actual horse, but you know we could if we like attack it as a group, get the horse into like close combat. And then circle the beast, and then it reared up and bucked someone, one of us. And the rest of us could come in there and actually push it to the ground. <laughs> and when it's on the ground, we just start beating the shit out of its head. Like, thaw, thaw. I think that if we were to combat a uh, African wildebeest, we could not take on the wildebeest. Well, if we could take out its hind legs, I think we'd have a chance. So, I think that person would be. Act, though. Oh, of course, yeah, it would be out, but it made an impact, changed the approach. Do you think, though, that if some animal or critter were to get one of us, like, that would change the odds significantly? Yeah, yeah, because then it would be able to get way, way more... Um, what do you guys think? Is like the biggest group of species where uh, that the group of us could just like beat the crap out of. Like honestly, like a like a cattle or like a, a bear. Bear bear's probably too big. Maybe a, maybe like a brown bear. Maybe. I mean, they're not that nasty, you know. But um, I don't think we could take on like a polar bear or a grizzly bear. Or anything. We could take on one of those shriveled up, starved polar bears. Damn. Like one that's been floating around on the block of ice for a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's true though. I mean, the evolutionary um, disarray, the, 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 the disintegration that we have caused to the animal kingdom is not good. It's bad. It's horrendous. Alright, let's just, let's just not talk about this. It is fucked, right? I mean, like, put aside Justices, social inequalities, and what is the biggest Pour it out for inequalities and social injustices. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> Alright, well, okay. Put aside inequality, <clears throat> social injustice, what is the overarching, like, what's the one problem that never goes away? Poverty. Well, but also climate change. We can still solve that, right? There's a chance. I don't think we have it in us. I don't think we have it in us either. But we have to have it in us. Like it's like the time is now. It's now or never. Like and you know and if we don't do it, you know, then what happens? Yeah. Well, then we we we're you know, too preoccupied and all this other shit, like all these other problems that we don't even you know. It's we're not even doing anything about it. TikTok. As the insane. TikTok. TikTok. Well, what can we really do right now? Like today? Going for office. Yes. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's exactly all we can do right now, at this moment. I know that for me, for me, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Not me. You know, this is a tough decision. Yeah, but I, I can't be a... <laughs> I just can't, I just couldn't do that. I just couldn't make it, you know? Then get on my team. Are you going to be running for office? I always wanted to run. I would be on your team. I campaign for you. You know, I, whatever. All right. So I've got every. Listen, I dedicate my life to your campaign. I would do whatever it takes to give you the edge. What we need to do is we need to start. We need to make a movement in Wisconsin uh, to, to to retake to our government back. Well, our government was fucking done it. All because people like us, people like us by here, aren't getting organized. That's, you know, that's true. People, people are really impressionable, right? The QAnon people, all the QAnon stuff, well, old Q leaves them out to dry, and then 
um, the existential crisis for everybody. Mm -hmm. So then the Democrats can come in there and sweep them up. Existentialism is gonna fucking skyrocket. Especially in the United States. <laughs> like, like, it's like that. Um, it's, the United States right now is like fucking Europe after World War One. Seriously. And it added to with like the digital age. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this, you guys. Every travesty in the United States, we can see in like a moment. You know? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just. What are you talking about? Like specifically, the, these last few years, the Trump presidency fucked us up, and it, it, it's like it's like it, sixty-eight to seventy-two, you know, and, and it, right, right, this moment, honestly, maybe because we're so close to it, it's bias, probably because I live in the moment, but, but. People are gonna look back at this, you know? Hey, uh, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. The United States is gonna collapse. Really? Oh yeah. 2031. I, I think by the year 2031, the United States, democracy is gonna fail. <sighs>